we're looking at here is as close to that which Jesus read in the synagogue uh, at Nazareth mm -hmm. than anyone we know. We had a whole trove of literature that we never suspected existed. New evidence has recently emerged about the existence of Jesus, and perhaps the most fascinating part is that we may finally have an image of his face. Scientists are studying the Shroud of Turin, making surprising discoveries that could reshape what we know. Named after the chapel in Turin, Italy, where it has been preserved, the shroud dates back at least to the 1300s when it was owned by a knight. Over time, it endured fire damage and various repairs before being permanently placed in Turin in the 1600s. So what makes this ancient cloth so unique? Many believe it to be the burial cloth of Jesus Christ, a deeply significant artifact in Christian history. Intriguingly, a faint image of a man's face appears on the cloth. References to this cloth, featuring the image of a man, go back as far as the 1300s, but it largely faded from memory until 1898. That year, an amateur photographer named Secondo Pia captured a photo of the shroud, and when he developed the negative, he made an incredible discovery, a clear image of a man with arms crossed and eyes closed. This image closely resembled traditional depictions of Christ, making it instantly recognizable. You may wonder if the Bible or other religious texts mention this shroud. While the Bible does not refer to it directly, it does say that Christ was wrapped in linen after his death, sparking centuries of speculation and study about this mysterious cloth. Nicodemus and Joseph of Arimathea, both wealthy members of the Jewish Sanhedrin, are believed to have provided the burial cloth for Jesus. Some suggest this cloth may have eventually been passed down to a French knight named Geoffrey de Charny, and after his death, it went to the House of Savoy. Over time, the shroud gained recognition as an important religious relic and was entrusted to the Catholic Church for safekeeping. One of the first significant efforts to question the Shroud's authenticity came in the 1970s when scientists formed the Shroud of Turin Research Project, S-T-U-R-P. Initially, there were claims that the image on the Shroud might be a painted hoax, but Stirp's detailed analysis using imaging technology found no signs of forgery. They discovered that the image of the crucified man on the 14-foot cloth was authentic, yet how it was created remained a mystery. Additional carbon dating tests were performed afterward at labs in Arizona, Switzerland and Oxford, which dated the shroud to a much later period than originally believed. However, these results were incomplete, and further review suggested the findings were inconclusive as they didn't account for how the image actually appeared on the cloth. Interestingly, Sturp had already confirmed that the imprint on the shroud was not painted or faked, estimating that it would have taken immense energy, around 6.4 gigawatts, to produce such a vivid impression. Recent studies using advanced X-ray techniques have added even more compelling evidence. A group of Italian scientists used a technique called wide-angle X-ray scattering, analyzing the natural degradation of cellulose in the linen to date the shroud between 55 AD and 500 AD, a timeline closely aligned with the era of Christ's burial. This method differs from the earlier carbon dating study in that it examined how cellulose in ancient linen breaks down over time, with findings suggesting it may indeed be 2,000 years old. Their research even tested the cloth's reaction to heat, exposing it to 200 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Remarkably, the image remained intact, which wouldn't typically happen with standard imprints. The study shocked many with the possibility that the shroud may genuinely bear the image of Christ. Using artificial intelligence, scientists recently reconstructed a face based on the shroud's imprint, producing an image of a bearded man with long hair, resembling traditional depictions of Jesus, and showing marks of crucifixion trauma. The presence of pollen from the eastern Mediterranean in the cloth also adds weight to its authenticity. What was once dismissed by some as a medieval forgery is now regarded by many as powerful evidence of Jesus' life and resurrection, cherished by the Catholic Church as a symbol of Christian faith. The recent findings have inspired believers worldwide 
Yet many are reminded that faith is meant to be grounded in more than physical artifacts, echoing biblical cautions about seeking signs for belief. The Apostle Thomas needed to see proof before he believed, yet Jesus calls us to trust in him even when we cannot see. For Christians, faith is meant to rest on God's steadfast love rather than relying solely on physical evidence of his existence. The Shroud of Turin for many serves as a profound reminder of God's love, that he cared for humanity enough to die for them and was powerful enough to conquer death, offering hope of eternal life. Though scientists have not yet fully explained how the Shroud's image formed, its endurance through centuries of tests and analysis only adds to its significance as a unique artifact. Despite the Shroud's importance, Christians are reminded that genuine faith is grounded in a personal relationship with God and Jesus' teachings, rather than on relics or artifacts. Objects like the Shroud can indeed inspire wonder, but they are not the essence of Christianity. Whether or not it is ultimately proven to be Jesus' burial cloth, the shroud serves as a powerful symbol of Christ's suffering and sacrifice. The faint image of a man on the cloth, bearing signs of severe physical trauma, moves many to reverence and contemplation, seeing in it a representation of their savior. Modern tools such as AI and imaging technology continue to help researchers explore the shroud's origins and the mystery of the image it bears. While future discoveries may shed more light on its history, the mystery may never be fully solved. As Christians reflect on the Shroud, the focus remains on the deeper messages of Jesus. His teachings on love, compassion, forgiveness and salvation are the true foundation of a believer's life, not the proof or disproof of a physical relic. The Shroud of Turin, regardless of its exact origin, has inspired faith and devotion in countless people around the world. It tells a story of fascination and hope bridging past and present, the earthly and the divine. Whether seen as an ancient artifact from Christ's time or as a symbol of faith, the Shroud invites reflection and contemplation. As scientists and religious figures debate its authenticity, one thing remains clear. It has earned its place as one of history's most mysterious and thought-provoking relics. The Shroud reminds us of the timeless nature of faith and humanity's ongoing quest for answers about life, death and resurrection. Although science may never fully unlock the mysteries of the Shroud or its image, its impact is undeniable. It has sparked conversations, inspired believers, and most importantly, shown that the story of Jesus Christ transcends time, history and science. For those who find comfort in the Shroud, it serves as a bridge to faith, a link to the divine, and a symbol of hope. For skeptics, it presents an intriguing mystery that challenges our understanding of history and science. As we study the Shroud of Turin, we see that faith is deeply personal, a belief in the unseen that surpasses physical evidence. Whether viewed as Christ's burial cloth or as a remarkable historical artifact, the Shroud reminds us of the power of faith and the mystery of the divine, in exploring its mysteries, let us approach the Shroud with open minds, respectful hearts, and a sense of wonder. True faith isn't found in objects but in the love, sacrifice, and grace of the one who inspires them. If you enjoy this content and wish to support us, click the Super Thanks button below. Your support helps us continue sharing Jesus' transformative journey. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated with our future videos. Jesus not more widely known. The obscurity of Joseph's account might be linked to the process of selecting texts for the biblical canon during the early centuries of Christianity. Many writings were excluded for various reasons, including doubts about their authenticity, divergence from mainstream ideas, or failure to meet the theological criteria of the time. Joseph's letter may have been one of these overlooked texts. 
Some suggest that its content might have been viewed as controversial because it portrays Jesus with intimate and profoundly human details, challenging the prevailing emphasis on his purely divine nature. Religious authorities of the time might have favored writings that highlighted Jesus' divinity while sidelining accounts that presented him as deeply human and grounded in earthly experience. There are even claims that Joseph's letter may have been deliberately hidden or lost. During times of persecution, important documents were often concealed or destroyed to protect the Christian faith. It is possible that this text was written in secrecy and then forgotten due to the confidential nature of its creation. Another possibility is that the letter was simply not widely copied. While the Gospels were extensively reproduced, lesser-known writings like Joseph's may not have received the same attention, further contributing to their obscurity. The letter attributed to Joseph of Arimathea may not have been mass-produced to spread Christianity. Instead, it might have been a personal account intended for a small, intimate audience rather than widespread circulation. Regardless of the reason for its obscurity, the mystery surrounding the letter adds to its allure. This raises an intriguing question. How many other important accounts have been lost or forgotten over the centuries? More significantly, it inspires us to seek out and explore these hidden stories of Jesus, reminding us that his life and message are far rich Christianity. Instead, it might have been a personal account intended for a small, intimate audience rather than widespread circulation. Regardless of the reason for its obscurity, the mystery surrounding the letter adds to its allure. This raises an intriguing question. How many other important accounts have been lost or forgotten over the centuries? More significantly, it inspires us to seek out and explore these hidden stories of Jesus, reminding us that his life and message are far richer and more complex than the texts we commonly know. Joseph's letter encourages us to see Jesus from a more personal and intimate perspective, which makes it surprisingly relevant to our modern world. In a time when religion is often perceived as distant and bound by rigid dogma, this letter offers a relatable, human image of Christ. It portrays Jesus as more than a divine figure. He was someone who lived among people, deeply impacted their lives, and understood the human experience. This message serves as a powerful reminder that the gospel of Jesus Christ, who brought hope and peace to everyone he encountered, is as essential today as ever. In these challenging times, when many are searching for comfort and a sense of purpose, Joseph's account invites us to rediscover Jesus, the wise teacher who didn't just preach love, but embodied it in everything he did and said. Furthermore, the letter encourages us to reflect on how we can emulate Jesus' life. It portrays him as a compassionate figure who looked beyond superficial appearances and quickly reached out to help those in need. This inspires us to treat others with kindness and view the world through the lens of love, values that remain timeless and universally relevant. Ultimately, the letter challenges us to ask an important question. How can the message and presence of Jesus transform our lives today? Thank you for watching. Please share this video with your loved ones and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring content. Christianity. Instead, it might have been a personal account intended for a small, intimate audience rather than widespread circulation. Regardless of the reason for its obscurity, the mystery surrounding the letter adds to its allure. This raises an intriguing question. How many other important accounts have been lost or forgotten over the centuries? More significantly, it inspires us to seek out and explore these hidden stories of Jesus, reminding us that his life and message are far richer and more complex than the texts we commonly know. Joseph's letter encourages us to see Jesus from a more personal and intimate perspective, which makes it surprisingly relevant to our modern world. In a time when religion is often perceived as distant and bound by rigid dogma, this letter offers a relatable, human image of Christ. It portrays Jesus as more than a divine figure. He was someone who lived among people, deeply impacted their lives, and understood the human experience. This message serves as a powerful reminder that the gospel of Jesus Christ, who brought hope and peace to everyone he encountered, is as essential today as ever. In these challenging times, when many are searching for comfort and a sense of purpose, Joseph's account invites us to rediscover Jesus, the wise teacher who didn't just preach love, but embodied it in everything he did and said. Furthermore, the letter encourages us to reflect on how we can emulate Jesus's life. It portrays him as a compassionate figure 
who looked beyond superficial appearances and quickly reached out to help those in need. This inspires us to treat others with kindness and view the world through the lens of love, values that remain timeless and universally relevant. Ultimately, the letter challenges us to ask an important question. How can the message and presence of Jesus transform our lives today? Thank you for watching. Please share this video with your loved ones and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring content.